Well, shit. Good morning. It is 10:15 right now. I finished my hair last night. Um, let's recap. I don't know what came over me last night, but I felt so... It's scary feeling like faint like that because I live alone. So that's why I was like taking it really serious. But I don't know what that was. Maybe it's just because I didn't eat um, really all day. So that's probably why. But I've never felt like that before. I think I was just doing too much and then not eating. So, Anyways, I feel much better this morning i like i said finished my hair late last night i don't even know what time it was because my phone died but i watched both guardians movies I, I was like an hour into the first one and then i ended up watching the second one it was good i think i've been i've been shitting on guardians movies for a while just because i feel like it's kind of corny but it's actually it's, it's funny i also like i said I, my phone died last night and i didn't charge it so i didn't know what time i don't know what time it was uh, after I finished Guardians. But after that, I looked to see if Hawkeye came out, the new episode of Hawkeye. And that came out. So it had to have been past, what, I think they usually come out at like 3 in the morning. Something like that. So it had to have been late. I ended up starting the Hawkeye episode. And then I think I fell asleep. So I need to watch that over again. My hair came out good. Uh, I had to trim, like, trim the ends to so, like even it out. So hopefully it's even in the back. I know it's like kind of flipped up right now. I usually, because it's this short, I usually flip the ends so that it has this kind of thing. But I did a side part and I don't know how that will look with a side part. I usually do a middle part and I have my bang, like curtain bangs and then the flip is cute. This is my first time doing the side part and I'm not sure how I feel about it. I have it pulled back now because I don't know if you guys saw, but this part of my hair, like this black or like this, this brown part that's still right here. It's not as long as the blonde. So when I put it down, I'll show you again. When I put it down, you see it doesn't meet the side. It kind of stops and I don't like that. I have been using either clip-ins or like gluing in tracks, like just two or three right here to like even out, you know, the length. Um, even the blonde, like some of the blonde doesn't reach down, but my hair is growing in a weird pace. So that's why I cut it a little bit shorter. It was longer than this. Like it was like to my shoulders, the back part at least, but the top wasn't growing as fast. So I had to even it out and I'm going to keep cutting it. What is this part doing back here? What, what are you doing? Is it because I have it? Maybe I need to just keep it down because I just straightened this. Yeah, I need to just keep it down. I'm happy with the growth though. Like. My hair normally grows fast, so I'm hoping that these pieces, like this needs to grow, that's going to take some time. But if I, if I keep cutting it, I think it'll start to even out eventually. Um, I really want to put my, I'm going to wait till my hair cools down and I'm going to put it back up. So I just, it's kind of annoying looking at it right now. I'm going to go edit this video really quick and then we're going to, I don't know what we're going to do today. I think we're going to cook that chicken soup. That's what I feel like making. It's my grandma's recipe and I am getting tired of cooking meals every night. So that'll be my meal. So let me go edit this video and then we'll get started with the day. This ring here represents my heart. But there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do. Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away and another woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. 
The end slate that comes at the end of every video. The one I had last year, for some reason, I thought it worked. Maybe I didn't use it last year. I'm not sure, but it didn't fit the like dimension. So I had to like tweak it a little bit. Hopefully when I upload this one, it fits. I am starving. So we're going to make that chicken soup. So for Thanksgiving, I cooked greens. Usually I cook greens every year. Um, and however, I don't ever write down the recipe. So I, I, like every year I end up getting too many greens or not enough. Well, it's never not enough. <laughs> it's always too much. Um, if you watch my Instagram, you know. So I ordered my groceries online this year for Thanksgiving. I'm cooking Thanksgiving for myself. This is my first time cooking it. So don't laugh at me if you guys already knew this, but six bushels of collard greens is a lot of motherfucking collard greens. Like... Let me show you the other side. Like this is gonna be, I'm gonna have collard greens until next year. Like it's, I got a shit ton of collard greens. And like I said, I didn't realize what six bushels of collard greens look like until now. But who, who's about to cook all these, like, <laughs> who's about to cook all these collard greens? This year I decided to make recipes for everything I've cooked for Thanksgiving and just in general, just recipes. And that way I can know for future reference for next holidays and stuff like that um, to where I know how much to buy. I'm not over buying stuff. And also I thought it would be a really cute idea to make like my own or start my own like recipe book. And these are my, this is the collard greens. Oh, this is the, little, this is the collard greens one. It's a lot on here and on the back. I did all this to, okay, pull out my grandmother, so Grandma Lacey's chicken soup. And this is all the ingredients. I just like roughly did the directions because I've only cooked this one other time and the other time I cooked this was uh, in China. Yeah, I didn't, uh, what am I trying to say? I didn't write the recipe down. I just cooked it and I don't remember how I cooked it. So we're gonna try a few things out and see how it comes out. I know how it's supposed to taste, so there's that. We're going to start with, I'm gonna use like a shallow pot, so like this one. This is one of my mom's old pots. Okay, so right now, let me move my recipe over here. So I put four boxes of chicken stock, but I only have three, I thought I had four. So we're gonna see how much this fills up. This one's already opened. Get the fuck out of here, bruh. And that's not supposed to be open. Oh, there. Is it supposed to be opened? I mean, I'm breaking the seal. Okay, I think it's fine. I'm breaking the seal, so I think it's okay. So I'm gonna do three, and I think I'm gonna fill one of them with water. So I'm putting, I just filled up one of the boxes. I just filled one of the boxes up with water. This is all just like trial and error right now. And then I think I'm going to cook the chicken first. So we're gonna put this on Medium high, medium high. So like five, between five and six. And then I bought, this is also from Kroger, chicken thighs. I'm trying to limit the amount of like real meat, animal products that I ingest. Um, so this is the first time I'm really eating or like cooking raw chicken. I kind of feel weird about it. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's been a long time since I've made something raw or like bought raw meats, anything. Like maybe salmon, I've had salmon recently, like in the past couple months, but that's about it. When it comes to like chicken or beef or steak, I haven't cooked it. I don't even want to touch it y'all. Like I just feel so weird about this. Putting them straight into the stock. Should I have? I think I should have rinsed these off. I should have rinsed these off. <laughs> ah, I put two in already. Shit. I mean, it'll cook, fuck. 
I think I should have rinsed this off, right? Well, shit. Some people don't rinse their chicken off and they live. So I should be okay. And I think that'll like, it'll cook off. So six thighs. I put four initially. So I'm gonna do six, see what that looks like. And then I put three boxes of chicken stock plus one box water. I'm gonna wait for this to boil. I turn it up to six now. Um, I wonder if I should put the seasonings in it now. I'm trying to think on Food Network, did they usually put seasonings in? No, uh, I'll just put, I'll just put a little bit in right now. So I just have my salt and pepper right here in these little containers. And I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna do a pinch, two pinches of pepper for now. And then later on, two pinches of salt. There, and then I'm gonna do onion powder. Just like eyeball it, but I said a teaspoon of each. I usually don't measure stuff. I wanna do some oregano and I don't have garlic powder. Damn, fro. I don't know how it would taste with fresh garlic in it. No, I'm not gonna do that. I don't think my grandmother put oregano in hers, but we'll see what it tastes like. All right, and then while that's boiling, I'm going to prep the veggies. I have chopped and cleaned all of the vegetables. And now I'm going to, I don't know how long the chicken's been boiling, maybe like 20 minutes, but it's cooked now, I think, cooked through. So I'm gonna just take them out. That way it'll be easier to shred. So now that the water is still boiling, I'm going to actually lower this in. I also did, to just make it easy, if I was gonna do like six large carrot, no, uh, three, three, three. Three cups of potatoes, three cups of celery, and three cups of carrots. I'm gonna use one of these. And just dump all the vegetables in. Ouch. All right, so all the vegetables are in. So now I'm just waiting till this comes back up to a boil. Once it does, I'm gonna add the chicken back in and then it should be done. I don't know if I was saying earlier, but this is my grandmother's recipe. I'm not sure if she made it up. She probably did, but I remember when I was younger, she used to cook this all the time. Like, cause I guess it was so easy and it feels like it, you make so much of it. So it lasts forever. Yeah, I remember her making this for me. And when I was in China, I don't know why, but I just, Guess I just remembered her making it. So I called her and I asked her what the recipe was and she told me how to make it. And I just recently called her again just to make sure if I had the recipe right. Yeah, I just, I love the idea of having, like passing down stuff. My family hasn't really passed down anything. <laughs> like family heirloom and stuff like that. Like I, I don't have any of that. As I'm getting older and as my family member, like my grandmother's getting older, I just like the idea of having something to remember her by. And my kids will know it too, so. So, yeah. All right, I'm done. I burnt myself. So this is what the chicken looks like, all shredded. And then now that the vegetables are coming back to a boil, I'm going to add the chicken back in softly so I don't burn myself again. All right, cool. All right, this is what we're looking like right now. I think you can see. Yeah, this is what we're looking like. I said, what did I say? I said, add raw chicken bowl until chicken is cooked through, remove chicken, shred, then add back into pot with rest of ingredients, cook until vegetable is soft and tender. So I guess I'm gonna keep it on, I'm gonna turn it down to like medium now, so like four. So I'm gonna say that um, on uh, low, low slash medium, and then I'm gonna say, okay, boil. Um, remove chicken, shred, add the pot. Okay, I used three cups of celery, three cups carrots, and then I put two small bags. Like what, Taylor? Um, three cups finger length potatoes. All right, and then I didn't put any onion powder. Oh, I put oregano, a teaspoon 
oregano. The vegetables might take like maybe 10, 10 minutes to cook. Yeah, maybe once I do this again, I'll like add times to everything. Cause like right now I don't remember how long the chicken was boiling for. I've been kind of tuned in to the tournament. It's another tournament going on today. Um, this is what it looks like. I'll show you. This is what it looks like right now. I made some rice. I put it in here, but it's gonna probably disperse. I'm going to make myself a bowl. Cause I've been waiting for this for like three hours. I think it's funny when people say like, oh, they don't cook because they like they're hungry, like they're hungry now. Like <laughs> waiting three hours to eat something just for dinner. Like that sounds ridiculous. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Hope you can see it. Hmm. Oh, this is kind of hot. I'm gonna try like a little, Jesus. It's super hot though. I do not want to burn myself. I'm not in the mood. Whoa, hot. Still hot. Yes, everything is cooked perfectly. Um, I don't, I hate, I think I said this other day. When I was talking about the juice, I hate celery. So celery has to be cooked down to where it's almost undetectable. Same with carrots. I really don't like carrots either. I don't care for them. Not that I don't like them, I just don't care for them. But this is good. So I'm going to watch the rest of the um, tournament. It's almost done, I think. This is, they're in the loser's bracket right now. These are sold at Kroger, the Cheesecake Factory dinner rolls. Like 15 seconds in the microwave. Oh my, no, no butter. No, no, they don't need anything, it's so good. So I'm about to make the last two of these. I have a whole nother bag up there. I eat them like just for fun. Like, <laughs> just as a snack. I'm really happy about this, that I have this now. And I have plenty of leftovers. So once it cools down, I'm actually gonna turn this off. But I'm about to, like I said, enjoy my dinner and watch the rest of the tournament and then, am I gonna come back later? If I don't come back later, thank you for watching day three of Vlogmas. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the rest of the days. I've been super consistent two days in a row. I'm on day three. Um, but yeah, if I don't see you guys later on, enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Every little Christmas, you know